Hello Taurus, how are you? This is your November 2017 general tarot reading. It's Raina here, shuffling the cards. If you're looking for a specific love reading, I have that available on my channel, so check it out. The other thing that I want to say is that if you'd like a personal reading, please click on the link below. My website is rainamoonastrology.com. Oh, bam. Been picking that card again. I used to get that card all the time, and now I'm getting it again. Cancer person. <laughs> See if we can see that better. Seems like it's tilted, but oh well. Ooh. Ooh, ooh la la. Okay. <laughs> now I feel like it's too low, but I can't, I don't want to keep adjusting it. This is the heart of the matter. This is a soulmate card, Six of Cups. This can be a Cancer individual specifically, but it's like meeting that person. I think I got that card for you. Or was it your astrology? There was something where I had something that was like kind of a soulmate <clears throat> recently. So this is a card that speaks of childhood, innocence, and things like that. So if you combine that with the cups and the love, it can be even somebody who was a childhood sweetheart, some, you know, your first love, or something like that. I have been drawing that um, lately a lot. So maybe it's another wave of this twin flame stuff. But... It can also be with career, because this is not a love reading by itself. This is a general reading, so some people <clears throat> may not be going through wanting a, a relationship outside of their primary relationship. They may be having career issues, and it's like, I feel like very positive about this, because in the, whatever's going on, because in the past tense we have the chariot which is like a victory card and it can be like the sense of triumph like you triumph over something in the case of like something that you've always wanted from your childhood that could be a career goal I used the example before of you always were good at drawing and then all of a sudden you are doing something artistic Whereas maybe you got talked out, out, talked out of it when you were younger and you went on a different path and now you are pursuing something that was kind of like a childhood dream. With relationships, maybe uh, you're getting out of a relationship with the Cancer or that's the person that <clears throat> is your soulmate. And sure enough, we have this card of judgment. So this can be signaling some kind of a legal judgment, some kind of a fork in the road where I always say the chicken's coming home to roost. So cause and effect. And it's almost like, yeah, karma. And even if you're talking about soulmates or twin flames, that can be like a, a karmic test where you're kept apart from that person and if your love is really strong, it survives all of those tests. Um, so it could be something along those lines. But the judgment card, again, I mean, it's like a rebirth. It's going through the fire to a rebirth. So very positive. And then the higher message, the spiritual message, is the Page of Pentacles. So this can be a message 
that you receive about money, about, about a job, or if you have your own business, you're receiving some kind of, um, maybe it's even, I don't know if it would cover loans, but this is a card of the student. But it's something that, yeah, it could be like the beginning of some kind of a material endeavor. But as the spiritual card, it's, Again, you know, with that judgment card, it's it's talking about it from a more, uh, I don't want to say faded, but a kind of like um, energetic level, like you did this, you never let go of your dream, and then you were able to achieve that because you you didn't allow the world to ultimately dissuade you from pursuing this. And the same thing with a person you may have gotten lost along the way, but like the judgment card is talking about rebirth. So eventually you find your way and you realize what is true for you. What crosses you is the Knight of Wands. Now, um, this could be a person from your past, maybe your ex, who is a water, uh, not a water sign, a fire sign, Aries and Aries, you, you may be attracted to Aries, but Leo is a big one for you. This card is actually connected to Sagittarius. But the this card represents someone who is a, a bit of a loose cannon in the sense that they are very, they may be very like devil may care. Um, this can be somebody who's a womanizer, so maybe that's why you soured on that relationship, but that could be a temptation in a way. So it may be you think that you've left this relationship, but it's still lingering on some level. This may also be an attitude that you have to watch out for in yourself, where if you have been kept down so long, you're kind of almost a little bit wild and you need that sense of like um, balance that you're you typically being an earth sign and being a fixed sign most Taurus people have a good head on their shoulders and they're not ex you know exhibiting the tendencies of the knight of wands but anybody can be like this if they have had a lot of obstacles in their way and all of a sudden the world is their oyster. Things are opening up for them, and they feel this sense of possibility. And um, so it, you can feel exuberant, but you have to keep your head together. Especially, oh yeah, and that's the other thing too. If there's somebody that is from your past that you really have been kept from spending time with, you, your first move may be like, let's just get married right away. Let's do this right away. And being ha uh, hasty. Even if you know in your gut that this person is somebody that you're going to spend the rest of your life with, it makes sense to be your typical self and be more cautious and be more just um, prudent. Um, doing things very you know, methodically, not just jumping into a new thing because you're convinced that this person is your soulmate. Advice or what is coming in is represented by the Seven of Wands. This is a defensive posture. So in people who are, for instance, getting divorced, you may have to really stick up for yourself or you'll just get uh, run roughshod. They'll run roughshod on you. Um, there can be, like, if this is something with career matters, there may be something that they're trying to keep you from receiving, I don't know if it would be a pension or something like that, but some kind of uh, thing where they're trying, maybe they're trying to use some, what do they call that, loophole, where they don't have to pay you severance or they don't have to give you a pension or whatever, and you will have to fight back. You'll have to be strong in it. But definitely watch your back for any tendency of others to 
keep you down in some way, keep you from receiving something that's rightfully yours. The outcome, well, if this is a love reading particularly, this is a great thing. This is joining with that other person. It's intimacy, it's love, it's connected to your ruler Venus, this card. This is actually connected to Gemini, believe it or not. I don't, I don't see why. Um, but it is. And it can mean a choice. And, but, but the point is, is that with that Six of Cups, it looks like you get the person that you are pining away for. And again, you have the rest of your life. You don't have to do anything in a haphazard way. If that person is meant to be with you, they'll be with you. And you'll live ha happily ever after hopefully. But um, yeah, it looks really good, Taurus. Oh yeah, and you have that full moon this month. So that may usher in these changes, like something in your life ends, an old way of being. And now you have, it's like a chapter closes, and you have this new chapter opening up in your life. And it, it can be very exciting because this may be a long time coming and you may be really happy that you hung in there and you never gave up hope that this would come to pass. So I hope you enjoyed this Taurus. If you'd like a private reading, please click on the link below. Enjoy November. Bye.